Not a great first half, um, but really a special second half. And um, our level of aggression, our attitude was much, much better. And just, just, to, just in terms of understanding how we needed to play to have a chance to hang in and get a win here. Um, first, this is this, our franchise's first ever win in this building, which speaks to how difficult it is to win here and has been ever since this place opened, how great a team they are. Um, but this was, uh, it was special to have an opportunity to break through with some of our younger players playing key roles in the game. Um, and uh, it's a great win. Um, I thought the, the biggest key to the game was the adjustments that uh, Nemhard made at halftime to really, uh, to really make an, uh, an, an, an emphasis on attacking the rim and getting to the basket. And uh, he did it, and, and that set the tone, and McConnell was just phenomenal in this game, along with a lot of other guys too. Well, it's just, it was just a, a different geometric vision of the floor. You know, um, Milwaukee's a great defensive team. They put you into the no man's land areas of the floor. And we needed to open up, open up the floor and we needed to get some real pressure on the rim. And he did that. Yeah, uh, look, the three-point shot is such a such a potent weapon. Um, you know, if you're going to beat a team like Milwaukee, you, you've got to be making at least your share of them. Um, but you need to have a balance. And, and I thought the fact that we got into the paint so much, particularly in the second half, it really set up the really good opportunities for catch and shoots. And that's got to be an emphasis for us going forward. Yeah, just you know, as the game went on, we got a better a better feel for things. You know, you, you can't ease into a game against Milwaukee, otherwise you get down sixteen to five, which we did, you know, and so you know it's it's tough. I mean, Giannis puts so much pressure on your defense, and <clears throat> you know he he forces the officials to 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 blow the whistle, and and so. Trying to figure out a way to 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 create a buffer so he just can't get to the rim every single time is key. Um, as the game went on, you know, Ron Ron made some good adjustments. Our players made good adjustments, um, but it helps putting the ball in the basket. You put the ball in the basket, um, you're going to be able to set your defense a lot more times than not. Uh, early in the game, we weren't scoring, and they were just running it up our our backs. And you know, I, I like the way we. Kept our poise, maintained our aggression. You know, the guys were animated in this game because of the environment, because of the opponent, um, and they really wanted to compete at a high level. And and we figured out the formula as the game went along. And I'm just real proud of them. You know, it's you know we're we're shorthanded and we don't have our all-star player. I mean, this was a really special effort by our guys. You mentioned TJ. Before before we before we get on TJ, I mean, I'm gonna be very disappointed if Miles's dunk isn't on Sports Center tonight. Yeah. I mean, come on, man, <laughs> this is this was spectacular, you know. Um, and McConnell was great. This guy's plus 36, you know, on the road in Milwaukee, and it's pretty clear he likes playing here, you know. Um, the first the first game, you know, he had 29 points or whatever it was, or 30 points, and. And tonight, he just uh, he was doing everything. He was getting rebounds. He was pushing it. He was finding people. He was he gave guys confidence. He put the ball in the basket. You know, it was it was it was fun watching him. I'm not going to make too much of this. Okay. okay. 
But, you know, it's this this is a championship team. This team won a championship two years ago. Um, you know, they had all three of their great players out there. Um, and, you know, to go toe-to-toe with them is, is, is meaningful, you know. It's not like winning a championship or anything like that. You know, it's, it's not like that, you know. But, you know, at the stage that we're at, um, as, we're, as we're rebuilding this thing, you know, these, these small steps that, that continue to lead us in a good direction are extremely important. Um, and, you know, I, you don't know what it's like until you play or coach in this environment, you know. And, you know, you're, you're looking down the barrel of Giannis and Holiday and, and Middleton. I mean, it's, this, is, this, is, this is tough stuff here, you know. So uh, I'm just, just real proud of the effort. Um, I still think, you know, Milwaukee is, you know, probably the favorite to come out of the East along with, you know, Philly, who we play next. So these, these teams are lining up one after the other. Um, I'll just try to be aggressive in transition, getting downhill all the way to the rim instead of settling for mid-range shots. Um, just stay aggressive, stay confident in the second half. Shots were falling from, from, from all three levels. How did you see just your attack and open up everything else? You guys end up, I think, 13 for 19 for three uh, yeah. in the second half. Was that, how much did that just sort of open up the floor? I mean, they play a lot of two on two, uh, so they, they they try to keep the keep the game between me and the big. So I had to, I had to be aggressive for in order for other things to open up. Because um, when when I wasn't really kind of making plays in the first little bit, it kind of stagnates our offense a little bit. Just how much did you see just confidence grow for you guys with every shot? I guess you know, was there kind of like a downhill. Yeah, it's it's effect, I, guess, I think there's a, I think there's a good togetherness about us in the second half. Um, good fight, um, a good aggression, a good like kind of we got really nothing to lose in this in this moment. So um, it was good for the team to just do that and um, big win for us. Not not getting many wins here in the past. Yeah. How do you think you guys just hung in there when you fell behind early? I mean, you were down 16-5 out of the gate, and you guys sort of seemed like you answered everything that they, they threw out you all night, but especially in the second half. Yeah, the game's super long. 16-5 to is really not that big of a lead in the league. So many points, so many possessions. So um, we've been in that position many times this year. Um, so we just wanted to stay confident, stay together, keep fighting. You mentioned not, not having one in this building. You guys have not one here. You haven't won in Milwaukee, yet, I think, in five years. What did it mean to... To, to get the win against this team that's leading the East, leading the NBA, you know, without Tyrese, for you guys to get a win like this, is what does it mean at this point in the season? It's big. It's big. You know, um, we're we're a bunch of competitive young dudes, so we're just trying to trying to show ourselves against these guys, and um, it was just about us staying together, playing hard tonight. <laughs> and that guy right there. <laughs> uh, I think it was just our mentality, um, make or miss. We were getting it out and pushing it, and. Um, really attacking them in transition. Uh, we did a really good job of that, and um, you know we made shots too down the stretch. That was big. What uh, uh, Rick was talking a lot about Andrew's ability to get the ball to the rim. You were doing that in the first half too. Yeah. Just, just how much did that just change everything when you guys, when you and Andrew were, were getting the ball to the rim? How much did the better win up everything else? Yeah, he set the tone. Um, you know, I mean, I've been singing his praises all year, and I will continue to do so throughout his career. Uh, Andrew is a special player. He proves it every night that he whatever we need from him off ball on ball I mean he can run a unit really really well and I, I feel like people think he's a you know a combo guard but I feel like he can run a unit and, and start and run our starting unit you know everything that we've asked of him this year he's done and he's guarded the best players on defense um, he set the tone for us tonight what's uh, just how did you kind of see it I guess a switch look at him and what, what was sort of the um, you know, Rick talked about just the, the, the geometry of the game changing because of the way he got the ball downhill. I mean, like, what, what did he just sort of just do differently? Or, or he, he, differently? he was just in an attack mode. Um, he was getting to the rim, and then, you know, they were leaving him open from three, and he was knocking it down. Um, you know, it's, it's a confidence thing in this league, and when he plays with confidence in an attack mode, it's pretty special. Obviously, a bunch of other guys got to hit some of those shots that open up. You know, Aaron D. Smith, a bunch of other guys made some threes. Just how cool was it to see a lot of guys, uh, you know, find it tonight from outside? Yeah, it was it, it was great. Um, you know, have, not having one in this building um, at ever, um, and not beating them for a number of years. Um, it felt good to come in here and see people play well and and get a win. Um, you know, but we can't get too high, too low. Um, you know, because we have Philly coming in on Saturday.
Yeah. Well, says, like, as you mentioned, you guys hadn't won here. To, to do this, again, you find out, I mean, we found out today that Tyrese is going to be out for a little while. Yeah. To have that kind of response, basically, to that in this building, I mean, just, what does it just say for, for this group and who you guys are? Uh, I, I feel like it shows the maturity, um, the next man up mentality. And like I said, Drew really stepped up in Tyrese's absence and, and set the tone. And our bench came in and um, kind of pushed the pace like we always do. And, um, and we came out with a win. I feel like it was a group thing, um, you know, not just me. We came in and, you know, I always feel like, you know, with the bench unit, you know, when we're down, I feel like our job is to come in and provide a spark. And we did that tonight. And, you know, when we come in and there's a lead, just don't mess it up. And, um, you know, I think we came in in the second half. We were up and, um, you know, kind of broke it open a little bit. And um, so credit to the guys that were out there. Just last one, what changed defensively in the second half? Obviously, a big part of that is making shots and getting some confidence. But, you know, you guys hold them to 22 uh, at the same time as you guys are going up. Yeah, I mean, they're a great team. Um, and if you're not locked in, communicating and giving the extra effort on defense, they'll beat you like they have the last a lot of times we've played them. So um, I feel like a flip switched um, defensively with us communicating and making that extra rotation and that extra effort, and, and it showed. Uh, you know, it was big, big time. You know, I had a lot of fun out there. It was great seeing all those guys I was with not too long ago, spent a lot of time with, with them. Um, but I won't say I'm not. I wasn't happy that we won. I'm super happy that we got that win. Uh, you know, it's big for me. Um, I was able to, you know, play well with a lot of other guys and guys stepped up and we had fun out there and got a big win against the best team in the league right now. So, you know, it's big for, for us and our team, a team that's growing, just to go out there and show that we can compete with. I mean, if we can compete with them, we can compete with anybody. So just what did you see flip in the second half, especially offensively? I think for us, we started rebounding, getting out and running. Um, obviously knocking down shots uh, and just playing our game. I think we got away from that a little bit in the first half. And, you know, in the second half, we got back to being us. And when we, when we do that, you know, we can stick in there with any team and, and win games. What impression about the way Andrew played, especially in the second half? That boy, you know, he was hooping today. Uh, made a bunch of big shots, got to the rim. You know, not only him, but Aaron, too, made a, a lot of big threes mm -hmm. uh, in that third third quarter. So. Um, you know, it's great seeing them, seeing them do that out there. Uh, that's big for us. You know, when the young guys like us are out there, you know, playing well, like I said, against a team like that, uh, it's really big moving forward for not just, you know, them, but for everybody. Uh, like I said, it elevates everybody's confidence and shows what, what we can do. You know, staying in his, staying in his ear, um, how good he is, how good he can be, you know, when he gets downhill, making things easy for himself and for everybody else. But uh, we rely on him to be a good playmaker, and I think tonight show what he can really do. What was said at halftime and what changed in the third quarter offensively? Uh, having a presence. You know, I think the first half, they pretty much hit every shot that they shot. Uh, we had no presence defensively. We wasn't touching anybody. Um, they were, you know, able to do what they wanted to do. So coming here at halftime, saying take away things, you know, be more physical, uh, make guys, you know, make plays and, and, you know, do play in crowds. And I think that's what we did and we got in transition. With all you've accomplished in your career, is this an opportunity to savor a game like this, a win like this, with everything that it meant to you? I mean, it's not for me. Um, it, it was big for our team. You know, it was big for the Pacers organization to have them won this building since this building's been built. Um, it was a good step in the right direction for our team, showing that we can compete at a high level when we play the right way. Uh, and it was just fun to be a part of. Best team in the league, and so that's really good. That was a really good run for us. What's uh, just you know, like I said, you hit your first three, and it seemed like you got a lot of confidence from there. I mean, just what, uh, just what do you feel like kind of came together for you offensively when you were taking shots tonight? Uh, I knew I knew I was going to be open for a lot of threes just because of the way they've played me in the past, and so uh, my mindset going into the game was to get them up early, see them go in, and just be aggressive from the three point line. Uh, throughout the whole game. What, uh, how much did things open up more, I guess, especially when Andrew, when Andrew really started attacking? It seemed like that really kind of opened up. Yeah, when you put pressure on a room like that, especially in like a, a team with uh, shot blockers, they all collapse to the paint and the kick out to wide open. So once he started drawing all their attention and making the right play over and over, it just started picking them apart. Right. So is, obviously, he's had a couple games where he's had to step in for Ty. He's had some spectacular games, some, um, you know, that, that haven't been as good at this. Obviously, one was, was phenomenal, especially in the second half. Just what's impressed you by 
about how he's handled all of these situations. His poise, like he's he's a very poised basketball player. It's uh, it's hard to speed him up, um, but when he plays at his own pace, he's really special. You mentioned just how big big this one is. For, for coming at this point in the season, I guess when Tyrese gets another injury, it's just like your fault. What are kind of all the layers of how big of a deal this is for you guys to you know, beat this team here at this time, at this point in the year? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's huge. You're missing your all star. Um, you're missing like 30 minutes a game, so you got to find that and fill that in somewhere else. And everybody stepped up tonight. This was a team effort, um, and I, you know, we really wanted this one. I really wanted this one for Jordan because I know how it feels like when. <laughs> That uh, that went in Boston earlier, like that meant a lot to me. So I know this one means a lot to him. So I guess just keep going on both of those guys. I mean, and both of those guys made some big contributions for you. Yeah. Both him and George. Just how nice to be able to do that for, for these guys. Well, that's, that's huge, man. I just I was teasing Jordan all day. I said it's to get back, it's to get back, and uh, I'm just happy he was able to get it. Like. <laughs> I know how much it means. And I went out there with the with the mindset of like I'm gonna go help get this one for Jordan and George. So. What the, defensively, you guys obviously are holding the 22 and the fourth. What's what does it take to hold that team the 22 and the fourth? I mean, like especially it's grit, hard play. Honestly, it's it's all you could do. It's it's a really talented team over there, and we made we made the effort plays and we communicated, and that's all that's all you do. So obviously you ended up on your own a bunch, and you know when he's out there he scores a lot. But you guys got him off the floor, you know, obviously mm -hmm. with the fouls and much of this couple of offensively. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? What do you think you guys did well? I guess in, in, in part to get him off the floor. It's attacking him. Um, you know, attacking him. He's their best player. If he's not on the floor, they play differently. Um, so we were able to do that, and it, it messed their rhythm up, and you know, it helped us win the game. Um, I'm just happy for uh, George and uh, Jordan, man. I think to come in there and uh, get a win against your former team, that's always a special thing. But yeah, no, first win in this building is kind of weird to think about. You know, it's just um, you know, it's just a, it's a tough place to play. But you know, we were able to step up and uh, get it done tonight. How much did that dunk at the end of the seal mean to you? Energize me because he got away with the when he dunked on me, he like grabbed my arm and call it, so I just got my lick back. <laughs> what impression about Andrew in particular in the second half? Just his aggressiveness, man. When Andrew. Drew, uh, whatever you want to call him, whenever he actually puts his head down and like goes to work, like it's a it's a fun thing to watch. You know, we tell him all the time, like you got to be more aggressive, you need to be more aggressive. But he's such a pass first guy, wants to get more guys involved, and you know, honestly, I'm I'm not mad at it. You know, he's a I think he's a team first guy, uh, but he's a very special talent, and um, you know, he's gonna he's gonna shine in this league for years to come, man. Especially when he gets his uh, his actual turn, you know. How much did that open up everything else? I mean, yeah, that's a big reason why you guys end up 13 for 19 from three, I imagine. Yeah, no, him being so aggressive, they had to pay extra attention to him, and he was able to open up for um for other guys to get going. And um, everybody stepped up tonight, man. There's multiple people on double figures. Um, you know, um, I think especially in that second half, we just really turned up in that third quarter. It was it was it was a fun thing to watch. What changed defensively? Like, I think you guys held the twenty-two in the fourth. I mean, what, what changed in terms of? Oh, uh, well, obviously with Giannis and foul trouble, it takes their their team changes a bit. Their dynamic changes. You know, I think that. You know, that was a big factor of it. And then, too, I think we were just flying around. You know, we played some zone, played some man. We switched. We threw, like, every scheme possible out there to try to keep them off balance. And, um, you know, fortunate for us, it uh, ended up in the W. You guys haven't won in this building. You haven't won in this city, I think, since 2018. To do this here against this team, that's the best team in the East right now, without Tyrese at this point in the year. I mean, like, so put, put in perspective how, how big this Um. I mean, it's a big win, but just keeping things in perspective, you know, it's game by game basis. You know, we're at the end of the year here, and we know these games matter. These games count, so that's our mentality, you know, going forward. And um, you know, it's, it's a big win for the morale, but you know, job's not finished. We still have a lot of uh, climbing to do.